The new power party has proposed a version of the Cross-Strait Agreement Supervisory Act that refers to Taiwan and China as, respectively, this country and the People's Republic of China. Analysts say the MPP is more pro-independence than the Democratic Progressive Party, which restricts the DPP's room for political maneuvers. The Sunflower Student Movement called for the institutionalization of an oversight mechanism for cross-street agreements. On March 1st, the new power party presented its version of the draft bill. The version referred to the two sides as this country and the People's Republic of China to introduce a two-state theory into law. Last week, Democratic Progressive Party legislator Li Yingyuan proposed a version that replaced the term state-to-state -state with cross-strait. Although the DPP has not yet released its version, party legislators believe that a pragmatic approach is needed after it takes power. Therefore, insistence on the state-to-state -state wording may result in the loss of opportunities for bilateral negotiations. The MPP is aligned with the DPP, and its support during the general election was helpful for the DPP. After the election, the MPP began explicitly advocating Taiwan independence, reducing the DPP's room to maneuver. The relationship between the parties is expected to deteriorate. Analysts say that the MPP is not afraid to make its voice heard in the legislature, as its origins are in street protests. Even with the burden of social expectations, however, the conduct of its lawmakers should be governed by reality now that it has secured legislative seats.